explain you how to perform basic local alignment search tool that is BLAST using NCBI. <coughs> the simple workflow of the analysis is first you have to download a sequence that can be either DNA or a protein sequence or uh, you can directly do it from NCBI I will explain later then you just have to run the BLAST tool and uh, BLAST N stands for nucleotide BLAST and BLAST P stands for protein BLAST and uh, after after getting the result you just have to look for the best match and then analyze your results so let's see from where uh, we start uh, here I just search for a protein sequence if I go back I just write a uh, protein here and then the TP53 protein th there is a separate tutorial which explains the process and after clicking this protein here there are two ways of doing the blast one is if we uh, download the sequence for our record most of us may need the sequence for our later use so this is the FASTA format of the protein sequence uh, whether you can just copy it and copy it and paste it in some page for your record and just save this file the other way is if you directly click the run blast here and this will take you to the page of the uh, blast p results here you can see this is blast p there are other types of blast as well but here we are focusing on blast p so either we can put the excision number of this tp3 gene or the fasta sequence so it's already have put here the excision number or if you want to put the sequence you can just paste that sequence here and then you have to select the database that is a non-redundant protein database uh, this is by default that is set and non-redundant protein database means that there is no redundant information of one gene you know what actually redundant means so uh, then uh, we just have to select a species against which we want to do the blast for example this is the tp3 uh, protein sequence of human and we want to look it in for instance zebra fish so let's click right down the zebra fish or Daniorario. Uh, you know that the bi biological name of zebra fish is Daniorario. Just select this species and then put uh, all these things on uh, default, blast P, and then click the blast. So then we have to wait for the result. Now, this is the job of the blast, and uh, it will take a bit of time, for example. Uh, uh, after let's see let's wait yeah now this is the overall result this is the job title of the gene this is the blast p and this is the description of that tumor uh, antigen p53 protein and this is total number of the sequence total length that is 393 amino acid and here you can see this is the tabular output of the blast result. This is the tumor protein P3 of Danio Radio, which gives the hit of the, the, the that is the best hit with the identity of 57%. 57% means that the, there is a similarity or identical sequence between Danio Radio and human is 57. And this is the E value. E value is the expectation value expectation value actually means that the I can say the lower the E value the better the alignment is so this is very low that is less than 0 0.0005 so we can say that this is very significant query coverage coverage means that the 78 percent of the sequence of Daniel radio is aligned with the human tumor protein and 22 percent was not covered in this alignment and total number of the score is uh, 345 so and the excision number of the protein of t53 in human is this one so if we want to go to the uh, directly to the excision number we can just click this and we will go and we can download the protein sequence and then we can say that we have the best possible aligned protein tumor protein 53 sequence of Danio radio the other way of looking the results so this is the protein sequence 
uh, the other way of looking at is it's a graphical summary here you can see that in these are the number of if you scroll on the results you can see that these are different results of Daniel Radio of tumor protein and the best uh, alignment is the top one and the colors are actually the based on the scores that the higher the score uh, than 200 the, uh, the color would be red it means it's the best score less than 40 would be the poor alignment very poor alignment and and so on the middle one if 50 to 200 would be mediocre or better score and uh, so if you from here you can also go there if you click this this will take you to the alignment of the what actually is the alignment if I rather than clicking here if I go directly to the all the alignments here you can see that these are the results of the alignment first one is for the axial number we selected this one AAH955997 here you can see AAH95597 so these are this is the best alignment and here you can see that there are a lot of regions between these two which are aligned and some of there is a misalignment you can expect that because 57 percent showed alignment plus sign means that the functional or structural properties of these proteins are same so that's why we can consider that as a plus means that this will not affect the uh, uh, this is not a big difference rather uh, and this may not affect the structure of the protein so they we consider this as a, as a better alignment and the gap means that there is a deletion of a gene in one species and the rest of the matches are written here like G and G are aligned so it is written G, G, R, G, R here S and S are aligned so this is the aligned sequence between the two species so here you can go uh, on so on and check all the alignments and you can find out that this the top result was the best alignment so I hope uh, you now you can understand that how you can find the best possible alignment if you have a protein or DNA sequence. <coughs> we will do uh, more uh, research and more tutorials related to BLAST and we will move forward from these to further complicated questions. Thank you and uh, have a nice day.